Hey guys, it's Gina and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a couple days since I did my advent calendar, but we're gonna do that. Today is Vlogmas Day 8, so hello. I know I didn't upload on day 6, I just had a lot going on and wasn't able to upload. So we have day 6, 7, and 8 for our advent calendar. So if you haven't seen this advent calendar, this is what it looks like pretty sure we did day five let me double check yeah so we have day six on this side which is this cute little gingerbread man so i'm going to set you up and we're going to put it up this is what it looks like and we're literally just going to put that right there and then we're gonna turn the tree. So now it's facing this way. And we're gonna get out day seven and day eight. Day seven is a sailboat. And day eight is a teddy bear. So we're just going to put those on the tree as well and there are the ornaments so let's go and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so we are back and i'm in the same setting as i was yesterday because jonathan's home in our room where i normally film so i'm in my parents room okay so in today's video I did this last year and a lot of people end up liking it, so I'm just gonna do it again. I don't care if I'm reusing video ideas. It's, when you're trying to film almost every single day, it's a little bit hard. So I, before I get into that, I know I missed day six and I mentioned a little bit in the intro, but I was super busy. But I was super busy because I was home because my dad had surgery on his rotator cuff because he tore it, so my mom was with him, so I was home all day. And I honestly wasn't feeling the best and I wanted to make sure that I felt good and it was just easier for me to rest all day, so that's why I didn't get a video up. It was just too much going on. So, now that today is day eight, I'm just gonna stick with the days. I'm gonna try to make it up somehow. So maybe one day might have two videos, maybe one video might be just like a really long video. So, we'll see how that goes. So in today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys my top five eyeshadow palettes that I've been using this whole year or end of the year. So, there are two well, there's like two sets of eyeshadow palettes that are from the same brand and then one palette is from a completely different brand so i'm gonna go in from my like the five the fifth one all the way up to the best one so like the one that is still in my top five but it's the lowest out of them all to the top one so the first palette that i'm going to talk about which is number five is the abh norvana collection this is the number one this is her volume one palette I personally really love this packaging. It looks so cute. It's like very reflective as you can see, but it's got the gold detailing right here and it's purple and it's pretty. And I love how the O in Norvina is a heart. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Now I personally really like this palette for the purples that are in it and the shimmer shades. I don't know why, but I really do. And for the warm tones, as you've known, I've used this palette in my Scarecrow tutorial and I really liked it this for some reason it's just perfect hues I'm more into purple shadows for this um collection I didn't want the second or the third one because purples really stand out if you have brown eyes and that is one of the main reasons why I really liked it and these shimmer shades people are literally just so gorgeous like look at them up on here and you get a white <laughs> You get a white and a black, which is perfect because not all palettes offer those and they are so Gorgeous and you get this big mirror. This is also a big plus because I love palettes that have a big mirror The only thing about this palette though, which is why it's the fifth one is that it kind of sucks for traveling Because it is so big like you can't fit this in one of those Jeffree Star makeup bags. You can't fit that at all so this was a palette I really wanted to take when I went to Vegas, but I couldn't because it's so big and I don't want to risk it getting ruined and I don't know if I could take it on a plane, but this is really good 
I really do like it. And I love Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff to begin with. Their eyeshadows are always bomb. The next one is the So Jaded palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And I is so lucky, I am so lucky that I got one of the ones that was signed by Kathleen. And I love her. If you guys have not watched Kathleen Lights on YouTube. I would seriously go check her out. Her videos are amazing. She's extremely funny. I just love her personality. I love her videos. She doesn't sugarcoat anything. She's literally amazing. Her videos always make me laugh and I just love her. She's literally one of my favorite YouTubers. But I, uh, this palette is number four and I love it. It also gives you the shade names on the back, which I really like. I also really enjoy this palette because it is a um like crystal or jewels palette and if you don't know already i'm really into crystals and all that kind of stuff so this palette i really did enjoy so much and this is what it looks like on the inside it literally has colors for everything you have your pops of color down here which are these blues you have these greens and these browns and you have literally all basically neutral colors up here you also get some glitters. I'll come up close and show you, like, this is a glitter shade. That is a glitter shade. What shade? Oh, a pearl is literally my all-time favorite to add a quick shimmer. Pearl and moonstone are. They're literally just so beautiful. Also, just look at the, like, detail that they did on this packaging. Like, you have the jewels up here as well. And you have them on the back and on the front. Really love this palette. And this was uh, ColourPop's first big palette like this. Really do and like, I really do like it. And I also enjoy how the names of the colors are on the front as well as you can see right here and on the back. Really do enjoy this palette. It's literally perfect. I freaking love it. And ColourPop shadows are just amazing and to begin with. The next palette Oh, this is kind of hard because, like, since I do have the two brands, like, I have another ColourPop one, and then I have this other brand, but I literally have to do it in the order, which is just so weird. So the next one, again, is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. This is the Zodiac palette. Now, look at, also, look how tiny this palette is. It's so cute. It's literally not even close to the size of my head. Kind of close. Kind of not. But this palette is adorable. I love the packaging. I'm very into Zodiacs as well, as you can tell. I am a Taurus. Anyway, I am very into Zodiac signs. That's like my thing, that crystals, Zodiac signs, astrology. Me, that's my ish. So, I really love this, this packaging first off because it has all the Zodiac signs on the front and on the back, which I really like. So like in the front, for example, this is the lion for a Leo. This is a Taurus for the bull. And then, obviously, this is a Scorpio because it's a scorpion. And on the back, you have a Cancer, which is a crab, and the maiden, which is a Virgo, which I think is so cute. And then front, Gemini for twins. Those are just examples of some. This palette also has the names of them on the back, and it's all the zodiac signs. And it also gives you the little symbol of the zodiac sign up there. I wonder if you can see it, like... I mean, Aries is right here, the Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, it's got Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And then when you open up, you also get a little mirror in here as well, which is what I really liked. I kind of wish this one came with a mirror as well, but it didn't, but that's okay. But I really wish it did, but this one has and I really like it. And these are the colors of it. These are so beautiful and they go perfect with each um, zodiac sign, like with the colors. Like a Leo is like this goldeny color that's like for the lion and then the Taurus is a brown because that's like one of our colors. And then Aquarius is the blue for water and then the Pisces is this color for fish and that's literally gorgeous and I really love it. And then of course there's like this like deep tone reddish purple for the Scorpio very beautiful i love how the background on this is star as well and on the front and in the pan size right here you can see these symbols as well so now we're in the top two and if 
you can guess which brand these are from before I get into it. So right now, comment down below what brand you think are my top two pelts. I mean, you really should know. If you watch me for a while, you will know what brand it is. So, are you ready? My second palette is Blue Blood by Jeffree Star. First off, this packaging is literally a coffin. Literally. But like, look at this detailing right here. This beautiful, like, blue chrome. And just the design on the front is gorgeous. This palette was the first palette of the year that I was so excited for coming out when he said he was launching an all blue palette. The year before was um, uh, Blood Sugar, Blue Blood, and then he says that next year, so in 2020, we're getting another, like he said, like Blood Sugar, Blood Sugar Part 2 or something. I'm super excited, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It is gorgeous. Now, I know not everyone loves blue tones, but I especially do because I have brown eyes. This really made it pop. I did a whole video with this. I'll have it linked up here or down below for you guys to watch. But this stuff, this stuff, this palette, seriously gorgeous. You get a freaking mirror in here. You get, you get nine shades in here. You get 18 <laughs> shades in here. And the pan sizes are so big, but also the pan sizes also have different freaking colors. Now, if you can't tell, my favorite shade in here is Crystal Flesh. I love adding that as a um, topper for my eyelids. I really do. That's one of my all-time favorite shades. It's so gorgeous. And this one also has the grays in it as well. So you don't just have to use just the blues. It's got the pink in it. Untouchable is also another one of my favorite shades because I sometimes like to do like pink shadows and I don't grab blood sugar right away. I'll grab blue blood. This by Jeffree Star is honestly freaking amazing. Really do love it. Can you guys guess what my number one palette is for the year? Even though I just got it maybe a month ago, that should be a huge giveaway. On what brand? It, on not well, you know the brand because I said this. There's two of them from this brand. But can you guys guess? Comment down below with a guess on what you think it is. You ready? The conspiracy palette. This palette. One. I've been waiting so freaking long for this palette with Shane Dawson. I can't. One. This packaging is the sickest packaging ever. Look at this. Like, look at the pink little star. Look at bask in its glory this pa this packaging i think is up there with blue bloods even blood sugar like his packaging is to die for but this one is my all-time favorite really really is you got the two clasps that are in the black chrome that he did and he opened this bad boy up and it's gorgeous beautiful mirror Shades are beautiful. I really do love this. I can't get enough of this. I finally, I have two videos on this. I did my first impressions of the whole conspiracy collection that I bought. And then I also have me doing this in a first impressions for a get ready with me. This palette though is seriously so freaking amazing. I can't. Like it's literally perfect. I think this is, this is the number one palette of the year. The number one palette of the year, I think, for almost everybody. I don't think anyone else has come out with a palette that will beat this this year. I really don't. Not Blood Sugar. Well, that was last year's. Not Blue Blood. Not Jawbreaker. Not Jeffrey's Morphe collab. Not even ColourPop. Not Anastasia. This. This palette is absolutely amazing and that is why it is my number one palette because it has the most wearable shades one of his palettes has ever freaking had like you can argue with me on it but i really do think most of these shades are more wearable than his other palettes i really do love it and that's why it's number one all right guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video we have no 
post notifications shout out because no one commented done on the last video. So if you want to be the next post notification shout out, all you have to do is click that uh, notification bell and comment done in my comment sections and then I will shout you out. If I don't shout you out, that means that there is more than one, so you will be the next one. Trust me, I try to shout out everybody that I can. There's one per video, but there isn't one for today's video because no one, no one did it. Also, give this video a big thumbs up and click that uh, notification bell, please, so you get notified every time I upload a video and you can get shouted out. And also, click the subscribe button and join the fam if you want to. If you don't, it's completely fine. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what your top five palettes are for this whole year. Because I want to know what your palettes are. I want to know what everyone's been using. What have you been liking? Is there drugstore brands in yours? Is there Tarte, Too Faced? Like, tell me the brands. ColourPop, more Anastasia. Tell me which ones down below. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.